Hi everyone, it's Louise again. I'm just uh, doing this video for the next uh, third method of how to remove your nail wraps. This is another way that you could use to remove your nail wrap, uh, which is coconut oil. I really like using coconut oil because it's natural. However, there might be a few different um, outcomes for each way of removing your nail wrap. It might work better with you for you with no uh, with the nail lacquer uh, remover wipes or with the uh, Jamboree nail lacquer uh, uh, liquid, remover liquid, or else the coconut oil. Again, you know, I think natural is obviously the best way to go, but again, uh, with the Jamboree lacquer liquid remover, uh, it does moisturize your nails as well, so that's a good thing. So I have here this little container that, of coconut oil that I just packed into this, this little container and I also have a, an orange stick and just paper towel to wipe off excess oil uh, for after when I'm dipping my nail wrap into the coconut oil. So I'm just going to open the lid here and I'm just going to do my index finger here first. Now these nail wraps I've had is the Lost Ruins and the Atlantis underneath. So the green part is Atlantis and the top part is Lost Ruins. Uh, I had this now a week and um, for those who don't know me, I do have three young children, five and under, and one autistic child and one uh, baby that's a year and two months old. So. After a week, my nail still looks like this. I think it's pretty safe to say that these are pretty great nail wraps. So yeah, I really love Jambri for this. You know, I don't know a lot of mothers who do their nails and the next day it's chipped, faded, or prints on it. And so, you know, this is definitely the best way to go, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start with breaking um, the seals underneath my wraps here just around the edges and once I've done that I am gonna just dip my finger into the coconut oil and right now it's hard so it's not even liquidy it's not even soft but that's okay you can make it soft by just rubbing at it with your fingernails Just rubbing, rubbing, and then I'm just gonna work with it. Just wipe off, so, um, take off some of this excess here, and I'm just gonna push from side to side. So I'm just gonna do one side here, and I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, actually, I have to say this this came off really, really fast, as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna show that to you right there. Just the whole thing in it. There's again a little bit of excess. I'm just gonna wipe it off here easily, and that's it. That was actually probably the fastest way to remove my nail wrap um, out of the three ways. At first, I did say I really like the Jamboree Nail Lacquer Remover Liquid in my second video of method of removing wraps, but I have to say with the coconut oil, it was uh, extremely fast and easy with very little mess. I, I have to say now, this will be my favorite way of taking off the Jamboree Nail Wraps. So. Um, I retract from my second video of how I said I really like the Jamboree nail uh, lacquer uh, remover liquid way of removing. Um, it's still good because it moisturizes your, your nails, but so does coconut oil. And hey, if you have a big tub, which I do, I just got it from Costco. Huge tub for $27 that's going to last me for like years. Um, yeah. Not only can you use coconut oil for removing your nail wraps, use it in your hair, use it to on your skin, use it for cooking. Whoops, sorry about that. It's slippery because of my nails. But yeah, it's great. It worked well. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
as much as I enjoyed removing that one wrap. Um, hope to see you next time and stay tuned if I do figure out any other ways of removing nail wraps. However, so far there's only the three that I am aware of and this is the best way that I, in my opinion, that I like. So uh, if you have any comments or um, suggestions um, or if you're a consultant you have other ideas of removing wraps that's e just as easy, let me know. Uh, my, all my information is just below this video and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.